We've been selling the finest of Madison Square Garden Television. This NIT, Randy Brewer, the Vic freshman, is the Golden Gophers' leading scorer. So the finals of the National Invitational Basketball Tournament, where it all began, where it is today, coming up in just a moment. We'll be back with more of the pregame. Number three, Jeff Lamp. Number 10, Craig Robinson. Teams are... This is Madison Square Garden. A big crowd on hand for the finals of the NIT. And now the starting lineups with public address announcer, John Condon. Madison Square Garden. This game is for the championship of the 43rd Annual National Invitation Tournament. Here are the starting lineups. For the Cavaliers of the University of Virginia. At the forwards, number 11, Garland Jefferson. Number 44, Terry Gates. At center, number 50, Ralph Sampson. And at the guards, number three, Jeff Lamp. Number 24, Jeff Jones. And the coach of the Cavaliers, Terry Holland. For the Gophers of the University of Minnesota, Forwards, number 32, Trent Tucker. Number 42, Gary Holmes. At center, number 44, Kevin McHale. Number 24, Mark Hall. And number 30, Daryl Mitchell. And the coach of the Gophers, Jim Dutcher. The officials, Joe Sylvester. Mickey there is Coach Jim Dutcher of the Jim. University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. This program authorized by Madison Square Garden Television solely for the entertainment of our audience and any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event, including the imposition of a charge for viewing the program without the express written consent of Madison Square Garden Television, is prohibited. Unlike most teams who come in against the University of Virginia, as we take a look at the officials, Charlie Deal, Mickey Crowley, and Joe Sylvester, Minnesota will not give up size. Kevin McHale will jump center. He's 6'11", goes against Sampson, who is 7'4", but this Minnesota team is big, and here comes Minnesota Hall, lays it up and in. That old forward-to-guard play right off the opening tap, and Mark Hall puts Minnesota out in front by a score of 2 to nothing. Virginia with the ball for the first time this evening. Jeff Jones in possession. He's the point guard, the man who makes things happen. This is Jones again, and Bucky looks like uh, the Golden Gophers have gone into a zone. Well, that's where they're best. Uh, with that big front line, especially when Brewer comes in, it's very tough to get inside. A key is Jeff Lamp hitting early to give the big guy a little working room. And the personal foul is on Trent Tucker, and watch Ralph Sampson, because he can pass the basketball. He draws a crowd underneath, wisely dumps down underneath, and that one draws a crowd. Back live, Jefferson fires it in, and we're all even up. Carlin Jefferson ties it a two. Off the inbound, Minnesota.
Minnesota was playing a zone, except one man was playing left, man for man, and that's a switch. They're normally solid zone on the baseline out of bounds. So here's Minnesota with the ball. Mark call. This is Darrell Mitchell, number 30. His two free throws won the semifinal ball game for the Golden Gophers against the University of Illinois. This is Kevin McHale, the All-American. Hall, Mitchell again, and Hall has room off that zone. He's in two in a row, and Minnesota leads it by a score of four to two. Virginia in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Samson is back, but he does not cover the corners. They're sending Gates from the middle. That's a tough route to run. Even if he gets there, he's vulnerable for the drive on the baseline because he's coming from the free throw line. And that's what uh, Virginia has done throughout the season. They have not sent Big Ralph Samson or the corners. Here's Lamp to Samson. And Ralph Samson has his first two. We are tied at four and four with 18-25 left in this first half of play. Finals of the 43rd National Invitational Basketball Tournament from Madison Square Garden in New York. The Golden Gophers, Mitchell. Kale just roaming along the baseline. You see him on the right-hand side of your screen. This is Mitchell. Bounces off Jones. And the rebound, Jeff Lamb. Let's see if Virginia will run. They usually will slow it up. But Jeff Jones playing all season with torn cartilage in his knee. And it's not going to bound by Trent Tucker. It'll still be Virginia ball. Virginia normally is a half-court team and a very good one. And people try to force them to go up-tempo. In this particular case, with Minnesota's awesome size, I think it will be Virginia that will be looking for transition. Although they're not a great running team, they're sneaky, great perimeter shooters, especially Jeff Lamb. Here's Jones, the man who sets it up, and Sampson, way short, rebound. Hall has it and goes through his legs very nicely to keep it away from Terry Gates. Here come the Golden Gophers, Trent Tucker. This is Mitchell. Off that zone. And the rebound's pulled down by Garland Jefferson. Virginia gave another look that time. They went 2-3. Here's Lamp as he picked it up. But Kale with a rejection, and it's pulled down by Mark Hall. On the break for the Golden Gophers. Tucker will slow it up. Minnesota, very patient, well-coached ball club. Jim Dutcher in his eighth year with the Golden Gophers. This is Hall. Mitchell, who could fire. Virginia's done an excellent job of knowing where McHale is, but it's the perimeter shooters that have hurt him so far. That's still a good risk for Virginia. Because they've got to keep hitting from the outside to stay in this ball game. This is Lamp. He had 30 in the semifinal victory over University of Nevada at Las Vegas. Jones. Minnesota stays in the zone. 16 and a half left in this first half of play. Here's Sampson with a turnaround over home. Rebound pulled down by Sampson. Outside to Jefferson, and we get a whistle. Three, Three second, violation. second violation. Called on the Cavaliers. Terry Gates with the ball will go over to the University of Minnesota from Madison Square Garden, where it all began, where it is today, the finals of the NIT. And with the active freshman we talked about prior to the start of the ball game, when he comes in, he usually comes in to replace Gary Holmes, and if Holmes doesn't get involved quickly, we'll be seeing Brewer pretty quickly. Yeah, then they go 7-2, 6-11, 6-10. And, and I like uh, what the, their assistant coach, Jimmy Williams, said to us over the weekend. He said, our ball club is very impressive at airports. When they get <laughs> off planes, everybody knows they're there. Here's Lamp off the steal for the University of Virginia. 6-4, the Cavaliers down by a couple. The dummy pass to Sampson too high, and here come the Golden Gophers as Tucker leads the break and gets to Mitchell. Beautiful fast break by the Golden Gophers, who now lead it 8-4. Well, we talked about their speed, but the quickness for Minnesota is out front. The front court is very slow, but they have three guys out front that can really push it up the floor. Now, when you take that fast break, no matter how quick you are, if you don't run it correctly, the man with the ball's got to come down the lane. We got an offensive foul on the University of Virginia's Ralph Sampson, and that is his first. This time, McHale is playing behind Sampson. Lamp finds the big guy inside. This is where McHale has to play. Sampson wanted a little more room, couldn't quite get his feet set. A good call by Mickey Crowley. And that is his first personal foul on big Ralph Sampson. Minnesota with an 8-4 lead, 15-25 left in the half. Mitchell in deep, it'll count. He is fouled, and oh! 
Yes, he is fouled in the play. I thought I saw a Minnesota player get upset, uh, Virginia player get upset. And there is Virginia's Gates up off the floor. The expression on his face when that foul was called, it, it looked like he came with a with a, with a glass flask and sat on it. He couldn't believe it. Who, me? I thought he had good position. I thought it was a bad call. Terry Holland agrees with me. Terry Holland, the coach of the Cavaliers of Virginia. And here's Mitchell. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, his two free throws in the final 14 seconds gave Minnesota a berth here in the final. Minnesota did not score a field goal in the final 10 minutes of the semifinal contest against Illinois. And now a full court press by the Golden Gophers. Teams try to do this all year to Virginia. They've been unsuccessful. Here's Lamp. He stops and he pops. And the rebound, Sampson. And it's taken away from by Darrell Mitchell. Mitchell on the break. Gets the foul. Oh, the Golden Gophers are breaking. Mikhail pulled something in his back. It looked like he was going to go up to dunk. The 6'11 senior now looks like he might have pulled a little muscle in his back. He was really trucking on an outside lane. Took the pass. Looked like he was going to slam it. Pulled up short. Still made the layup barely. Here's Gates, and he is called for traveling. And the first time in this tournament, Bucky Waters, we are seeing the Cavaliers of Virginia get a little bit rattled. Well, they'll they'll settle down. Uh, Mikhail still having difficulty, and he is not only the captain for the Golden Gophers, he is the franchise. He is the heart of this ball club. Here's Mitchell giving it to Mikhail. Good, did not look like he could bend down for that pass, and Jones steals it. Jeff Jones takes it. Sampson on the tip, and a beauty. We're seeing a lot more transition from both of these teams than I expected. There certainly isn't any caution out there. They're both running and gunning. 11-6, Minnesota out in front. Lee Raker getting set to come into the lineup. You'll see him right on the bottom of the screen, moving to the left. Here's Mikhail, and he will take it. Short rebound pulled down by the Golden Gophers, Gary Holmes. Patient ball club, the Golden Gophers of Minnesota, who are 10 and 3 in Big Ten play, 21 and 10 on the season. Here is Holmes firing, and a count he was fouled. Jeff Jones picks up the personal. Gary Holmes has his first basket of the evening. That time, Virginia showing man for man. Pressure. Pressure on the ball by Gates. Swings baseline, goes up. Jeff Jones coming from his position in the backcourt to try to help. It was too late, too short. I didn't see the foul. There must have been one. So here is Holmes in the line, getting ready, trying to complete a three-point play. In this NIT, he is averaging only four and a half points a ball game, and he now has three in this one. And Minnesota's largest lead. They lead it by a score of 14 to 6. Eight points with 13.45 left in the first half of play. This is Jones. Jeff Lamp. Samson, won Samson wants the ball on the left side. That's his favorite spot. Let's watch how they play him. Even though they're in his zone, someone is going to be playing him with man coverage. I think they should be playing him from the baseline side with the leg behind him. Right now, Mikhail basically is playing him from the top, which makes him vulnerable to that lob pass and the good moves that Samson has along the baseline. And Kevin Mikhail picks up the personal, his first, second on the University of Minnesota here in the first half. Finals of the 1980 National Invitational Basketball Tournament. We're happy you can be with us throughout these United States of America. This is Lee Raker, number 25, to Samson. Lamp goes for the rebound, we got a foul. And it's gonna be on the University of Minnesota's Trent Tucker. Randy Brewer, number 45, who was Cinderella last night for Minnesota, came off the bench, 24 points, nine rebounds, and hit 13 straight as Minnesota struggled with Illinois. The game finally ended 65-63 to bring Minnesota to the finals. That was Tucker's second personal foul, and the third on the University of Minnesota. 14-6, the Golden Gophers lead the Cavaliers from Charlottesville, Virginia. This is Jeff Lamb, Raker, excellent shooter. Here's Sampson, finds Gates, and we got a foul. And it's gonna be on Kevin McHale, that is his second personal. I'm surprised at how easily Virginia is making entry. Jim Dutcher is too. In his fifth year with Minnesota, that zone was supposed to cut off the inside and force some outside shooting. So far, Lamp hasn't had a field goal from the perimeter, but they are getting the ball inside, and that's foul problems. A good pass by Ralph Sampson. Underneath, 
McHale coming across, trying to bail out, gets called for the foul. And Terry Gates on the line, he'll shoot two. A junior from Louisville, Kentucky, Ballard High School in Louisville. Three members of this University of Virginia team are from the same school. Jeff Lamp played there, as did Lee Raker. So Gates has his first point of the ball game, and a good look at the youngster from Louisville. 14 to 7. Minnesota out in front by 7 with 12.55 left in the first half. Back door and Tucker couldn't catch up to the basketball. Virginia playing lots of man for man. Minnesota trying to go back door and threw it in the stands. So here's Jeff Jones. Patient, very bright basketball player. Controls the offense. Jeff Lamp, his favorite spot. The tip by Gates. The rebound McHale for the Golden Gophers. And here's Darrell Mitchell leading the break, giving it to Tucker. Baseline to Hall. The rebound knocks to the bounds. It'll still be Minnesota ball. And the Golden Gophers, their height advantage, they are getting those offensive rebounds, Buck. Yeah, watching the two big men underneath, Ralph Sampson at 7-4 and Randy Brewer at 7-2. The two freshmen are now matched up in the man-for-man -man concept defensively for Virginia. Now it's Trent Tucker leaving the lineup and Gary Holmes back in for the Golden Gophers. That's Holmes, number 42. Mitchell fires. The Golden Gophers are hot. Darrell Mitchell at seven points. And Minnesota with a nine point lead. Look at the back of this zone now. Holmes, 6'10. Brewer, 7'2. And McHale, 6'11. Here's Gates. Sampson. Virginia's cold, and McHale has the rebound. Batted away, but Mitchell has it. Nothing wrong with McHale's back now. He's really hitting the boards. 12 minutes left in this first half of play, and Minnesota has a nine-point lead, 16-7. to seven. This is Brewer, the freshman, taken right out of his hands by Terry Gates. And here come the Cavaliers, Jeff Jones. Raker, he's got a good shot. The tip by Sampson try to stuff it. Lamp has it. These are the need to gates so lays it in. Sensational pass by Jeff Lamp. Threw the crowd to him, slipped it under. The bounce pass is definitely the best pass in close because the defenders all have their hands up in anticipation of the shot. Unless you're throwing it to Ralph Sampson, then throw it above the square and he'll get it. Here's Holmes. The Golden Gophers are hot. Gary Holmes, the sophomore from Miami, Florida, has five points. Minnesota has now hit eight of its first 12 shots from the floor, and I don't need a computer to know that's 